peeps, it's the Green Beanie, the naughtiest cooking vlog around. This week we are making a very Russian-y, classic Russian dish for a perfect, perfect for weather like today, where it's like not super hot, like last week, I mean last episode. And this is a borscht, which is a hearty stew with like beef broth and beets and a bunch of other stuff and it looks like blood and it's really cool. The reason we are starting to make dinner at 3 p.m. is because, not because you have to sit around and it takes that long to start it, but you're gonna basically, you're gonna start by making the beef broth. So what you need is between one and two pounds of beef. So one pound of beef will serve like four people and uh, make sure your hands are clean and make sure that you clean your hands after you do this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in a pot and we're gonna put lots of water in the pot. Um, it, ideally a pot this big. And as you can see, this beef, it's got like lard around the edges, but eventually after maybe an hour or so, the lard will kind of start to fall off and then you can just take it off. So we're going to put this in here and make sure that you wash your hands afterwards. But for now, we're going to put this in here, turn it on to medium, and um, you can pretty much forget about it to make sure nothing's like touching the stove so it like burns down the house. But yeah, just keep it on medium-ish. We'll check back in about an hour, even though the beef broth will take a total of three to four hours, but we're just going to check on it. See you in an hour. After washing your hands. Slinky, 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 slinky. And now it has been two hours since we put this in and started boiling it. And after an hour, I just turned it down a little bit below medium. And um, I said an hour, but two hours is better for making it more tender so that it's easier to take all the lard off, which is what we're going to do now. So you want to get like tongs. And it's easy to tell like what's the lard and what's like meat. The lard is just kind of, it's like white and like kind of not very appetizing looking. So we're just going to take some of that off. Just take as much off as you can. And we've got maybe two-ish more hours left on this. Remember, you don't have to stand here and like wait for it for four hours because that would suck. You can sort of do whatever you want. Don't tell anyone I said this, but if you put it on low, you can probably leave the house. Not recommended, but I mean, if you have to. And now it has been about one hour and a half since we last saw you, but only a few seconds on this YouTube video. And what we are going to do now is we're going to take the bones out, if there were any. There were only two bones in this case. And give them to a very keen looking hound on the side. Here. Go. Go away. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to pour out all the broth. We're going to keep it, of course. We're going to pour it into a bowl and, like, basically anything that's big enough to contain this much broth because this is quite a lot. This is like eight servings. And pour it carefully. Don't, like, spill it everywhere. And pour the meat out, too. Because what we are going to do now with this pan is we are going to sort of saute like um, an onion and some beets and stuff, but first we're going to cut them up. But, yeah, turn this off so it doesn't like heat up with nothing in there. And put these aside, and we're gonna start introducing all the other ingredients that you will need to make this awesome, amazing soup. So the other ingredients that you will need is you will need some beets. We're making for like eight people, so you need maybe like, um, what's it called? like three or four of these beets about this size and uh, this is kind of just basically you're just adding like vegetables as long as you have the beets and you have the onion and um, you have red cabbage I mean you can use unread cabbage but because it matches everything else it's color coded meal except this which is white but it'll turn red with the beets anyway and we've got celery and zucchinis oh yes and you need some mushrooms we've got like mushrooms that we're going to be cutting up and adding. But what we are going to do right now is we are going to put a little bit of some kind of oil or something in the pan and rub it around to get a thin layer on the bottom and turn it back on to medium or so. And once that is heating up, you're going to take your onion and a knife and cut it up like a boss. And now we're going to put the onions in like a boss. Oh yes, and also, you want to crush up some garlic and put that in too. I've got some pre-done garlic. 
I guess I should measure it out. I don't want to go crazy with garlic. I'm using crushed garlic for maybe like a teaspoon or two. And what we're going to do next is we're going to wash and chop the beets into pieces like I will demonstrate in a few seconds. And now we are going to cut up the beets into thinnish slices. Here's how you kind of want it. I mean, there's a more efficient way to cut it. I'm just kind of showing you the pieces you want. Pieces like, kind of like this, into like matchsticks. And you're going to put them in there with the onions and have like a thing you're going to use to mix it around so that you're mixing it. So yeah, just cut up all three or four of your beets and put them in with the onions. They should be making a nice sizzly sound like you can hear right now. So now that it is nicely caramelizing here and then everything's turning a nice blood color red. Just wait till we add the broth. That's when it gets cold. Um, we're going to take our cabbage. This is about a quarter of a medium sized cabbage. You don't want the core. It's kind of likes the cabbage core and you're going to cut that up sort of finely like this kind of like an onion I guess and what we're going to do is just, we're just going to let it kind of stir for a saute or whatever the word is for maybe another five minutes or so mixing occasionally while you're waiting you can begin to wash and chop your other vegetables such as courgettes or zucchinis in America and mushrooms and maybe daikon, celery, carrots, and anything else you think may go, which you may put in the comments if you think that it really goes well. So now what we have to do is add the broth and the meat back. Be really careful when you're pouring it, you don't want to like spill it everywhere. And here we have the rest of the broth and the meat. And also we're going to add some of our chopped up vegetables I just put in here because that's where I could put it. And basically all we gotta do now is like keep this on medium or so and we're going to let this all stew and like become a very awesome borscht and let all the vegetables cook, which would be maybe about 20 minutes, but you wanna check on it every now and then, I guess. But yep, just keep adding your vegetables and stuff. And then before, in like a few minutes before we serve, we're gonna add the herbs and the red wine vinegar and then you can serve it like a boss and now we are going to add the final ingredients you want plenty of pepper and salt like salt and you're going to have maybe uh, one or two tablespoons of red wine vinegar kind of to your taste adds a nice vinegary flavor big surprise and you want fresh herbs the biggest one you want is dill. Dill with uh, borscht is definitely an essential. But if you also have any, you can have parsley, maybe cilantro, mint, pretty much like all kind of good herbs go with this. But when you're done, you can serve it like a boss in a nice bowl. And what is really boss with this is you're going to serve it in the bowl and then you're going to put like a dollop of sour cream or yogurt on top because that really complements the flavors. And Make sure you don't spill it anywhere when you eat it. A pair of pears. And that was green beanie. I think I'm 80 something for you, but yeah, awesome. Hearty soup for summer weather like this. Yes, it was raining and really cold earlier, which is really exciting because it snowed up in the mountains today and it's still summer. But make sure that you subscribe for a new video as of last week, well as of the week before last, so last episode, TGB has started to become every other week instead of every single week. And check out my other channel where I do other things such as snowboarding and I might be posting a new video soon where I go zorbing. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up. And, but yeah, enjoy your awesome borscht. And stick around, stay gnarly, bye for now, see you we got to next.